The most exciting innovation coming out of Nokia's optical business group is definitely the Photonic Service Engine 2. This is our latest digital signal processor that enables a number of new modes that have never been available to build DWDM networks. Uh, this brings the industry's first single carrier 400 gigabit wavelength, the industry's first 200 gig long haul wavelength, so 200 gig is now not just reserved to the metro but also can be extended to the long haul. It also enables the first ultra long haul 100 gig and this is uh, very applicable to terrestrial submarine integration where now we can light up 100 gig across oceans. And so we're using this PSE2 in a number of our platforms in a 500 gig MUX bonder for the 1830 PSS as well as our latest and greatest packet OTN switching platform, the 1830 PSS uh, uh, 24X. So PSE2, definitely the most exciting thing that's going on right now. Yeah, we're definitely seeing a resurgence in optical. And what's largely driving this momentum is the adoption of cloud services. Uh, everything is moving to the cloud, whether you're a consumer uploading your photos to the cloud or whether you're an enterprise moving your entire IT systems into a cloud environment. And this takes a tremendous amount of bandwidth. So big cloud providers are building their own carrier grade networks with dark fiber to get their data throughout the world so that it can be consumed by individuals and enterprises. And then enterprises are buying optical services from carriers to get to these co-location facilities where they can consume cloud services. So this is just putting a tremendous amount of growth on the network, a tremendous, tremendous amount of strain on the network, and carriers have to upgrade. So that's why we're really in this optical upgrade cycle.